Hello there. I am now back for my... I believe it is now my... Fifth review. Yes, I believe. Um, this time it's going to be on Hornby Great Waterton Station. Now if you've seen my dry oil station review, it's the same exact location. And this location I think it's good for my reviews. Alright, so, and for, for now I, I would say, until the, um, I finally get up to the scenery, to this certain location of the layout, because I'm currently working on the coastal route and fishing village of my layout right now. That's basically, which is um, not anywhere near here, I'll say that, all right? Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so here's Great Waterton Station from the Hornby Range, so I'll give you guys a little bio of it. So, Great Waterton Station was introduced in The Great Discovery, which I believe came out in 2008, and the Hornby Range also decided to come out with Great Waterton in 2008 as well. Now, Great Waterton, I, I believe, was only seen in The Great Discovery and in Season 12, but I believe no other seasons. I've never seen it in the Thomas the CGI series yet. I'm pretty sure on that. However, it's a really nice station, and even though it wasn't seen in the classic series, I still bought it because it's a really nice station. Now, just letting you guys know, this isn't going to be known as Great Waterton Station on my layout. It's actually going to resemble part of Wellsworth Station. Because, as you know, Hornby never came out with a Wellsworth Station. Um, so, yeah. So, Hornby, yeah, like I said, it came out in 2008. And it retired, I believe, in 2010. Yeah. So, it lasted three years. And in 2010 was basically when the scale of range just crashed. Basically for the Thomas range at least, and you know, it's a bit of a disappointment, but anyways, I don't want to get off the topic now. Um, on to the actual model. So I got these about in Christmas 2011, I got all three of these. They're really nice, however, there are really nice parts about this item, however, there's parts that, you know, I would say they're not really, um, uh, perfect, I would say. Well, for one thing, why don't we start with the footbridge like I did with dry off. So, here's the footbridge. It's a nice green. However, it's a bit light. I mean, this is... It, it's a really nice footbridge, don't get me wrong. And I, I got it for a pretty good price for Christmas, yeah. But, you know. I believe this isn't really how it looked in the actual great discovery. I, if I remember, here, I actually have my, I right, just moved the camera, shot over. I actually have my 2008 Hornby yearbook, and I'll show you pictures that they had. If you look here, that's the Great Waterton Station right there. Do you see the difference? Like here. Yeah, I'll try and see. If you notice, it's a darker green for one thing. The other thing is that in the actual Great Discovery, I'll try and find the page. I believe the footbridge actually, hold on, if I could find the stinking page. This yearbook is killing me. Sorry guys, just hang on there. I believe the footbridge looks more something like that, like with the with the spaces and everything, if I remember. But you know, it's still a nice footbridge and everything. So, yeah. The nice thing about this footbridge, though, is that it fits three tracks under it. Even though um on the box, which I don't have the box for some weird reason. I think I lost it or something. But on the box, it only had two tracks under it, I believe with Thomas and James going under it, and I'm just, I'm, I just don't really know why, but, oh well, again, it's a really nice footbridge with the color and everything, again, typical Scaledale, 
And again, that says 2008 right there. Yeah. So I'll move that off to the side now. Then we'll go into the platforms. Alright, hang on there. So, here are the platforms. There you go. Here is one part of the platform. These are really nice. However, there's, there's something I have to say about the platforms. They're, they're nice and everything. 2009, it's just there. However, I think Hornby came out with two Great Waterton platforms. Because I was looking on E. Haddon's one day, like, about a year ago, I'd say. And they had two Hornby Great Waterton stations. One of them only came with the ramps and just one of these. The other came with two of the platform sections and then this. And they were two different codes. So I looked into the 2008 catalog and the, the correct code that they put on there was, I don't remember, it was R9264. And that was the one that only came with one of the platform things. But I went on to other websites and it, it seemed that they, they, all, they also had the, the one with two. So I was really shocked. So, so with Great Waterton, I, wanted to, I always like to make my stations longer because it's so I can fit express trains and everything. So I decided to get the one with two, which I have here with me. Um, you know, and, you know, that just puzzles me a little bit. Just the one thing that's disappointing is that it came with no fence on the outside. Because in the show, it did have a fence. Yeah. I, I don't know. It, it, if anyone if anyone can tell me if they know why Hornby came out with two of these, just comment, you know, down. Um, but yeah, he, he, here's the box. Both boxes are the same, though. I looked on E-Haddon's. They were both, both the same. Yes, he just says platform packer at Waterton Station. It's a really nice photo there. And yeah. Here's the back here. Got great Waterton, you know. All the buildings there. Yeah. There you go. Um Yeah. On to the actual main part. Which, let me tell you, this is the rarest part. Um, here, let me just show you what it looks like. On the bottom, look, oh, this is extremely heavy, by the way. This is 2008, and just like dry eye, it's just fully open. Um, unlike Maithwaite Station. And also with this, it's... A different shade, I believe, compared to the catalog. I'll just show you for a second. It is a different shade. If I can put this down for a sec. This thing is extremely heavy. It is a different shade. Here, just take a good look at that. And then I'll, sh and then I'll bring back Great Waterton so you'll get my point. And in the show, the actual picture they had in the catalog was the color of the Great Water in the show. I don't know why Hornby like changed the shade a little bit. You know, it's not much different, but they did. It's with all the 2008 like Great Water Ten buildings. But here yeah, you got some nice posters. I don't know if you can read that. It's pretty darn small. It's just that. And then this is really cool. It has um, what's that say? It says Journey of Train, I think, yeah. Journey of Train, then it has like the Thomas French Great Water Ten. I mean, this building, I think for Christmas, I got it from some Australian site. Here's the opposite side. Here's the sides. You know, again, overall, this is a really nice station. I am not putting it back together, just letting you know that. And then. Here is the box. Here we have Gordon, 
Great Waterton Station. Yeah, that's it was $69.99. Australian dollars, by the way. And then all the stuff you can get. Side, collector building. You know there. I'll just let you read that. And then there's that. And there you have it. Um again, I found I did find a site that has the platforms. Alright. But it was it was the smaller platforms with only one of them, just letting you know. And it was the same site that had the dryer ramps, it's hobbyco.com dot Australia or AU. Um yeah, no spaces. And yeah, that's that. And then I was searching around and I saw a great water from station on Amazon UK, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure if they ship to the US, but of course they must ship to the UK. And I also saw also the platforms on Amazon the UK. As for the footbridge, I didn't really find it. However, this footbridge is not as rare as the dry off footbridge, just letting you know right now. It's not as rare. You know, you know, again, it's, it's like one of those items they just float around on eBay. If you find one, just get it, you know. But yeah, once again, I'm at 11 minutes, just like the dry off station. The Great Water Tin, I give it. You know what? I would just say. I would actually say a 9.5 out of 10, because it's just the shade of color, you know what I mean? I, I don't know why they changed the shade of color. However, it's not much of a big deal. So I'm kind of iffy with this. It's either 9.5 or almost almost a perfect score because you know I'm, I'm kind of iffy however you know it's it's again it's a great item if you want if you want a Thomas station get this because you know um however out of the three stations I still have to say probably Maithweed has to be my favorite but yeah that's really it guys um don't want to go any longer I'm at 12 minutes now and yeah see you later